Hello and welcome to the hot sauce challenge. That's right. But in this hot sauce challenge, we're going to be doing a side by side. You're going to be able to see me through this screen right here. But when I start the challenge, you're going to do you can see a side by side of what my background actually looks like compared to what I'm showing you guys. So if you'll stick with me, we'll start the hot sauce challenge here in one second. Let's see what we got here. We got Swift Burn Hot Sauce. As you can see, it looks like five sticks of dynamite. <laughs> I think this is actually pretty cool. I've never seen this hot sauce before. I mean, I do see that it... I mean, I hope it's not all the same type. I mean, oh wait, we got smoky bourbon. We got red chili. We got garlic. Chipotle pepper and jalapeno. Oh, nice. We got five different flavors of hot sauce to try. So, let's take these bad boys out of their packaging. Yeah, that doesn't work dynamite, right? It better be hot like dynamite or else, you know, my my whole food critic thing is not going to work that well for them. So, <clears throat> Oh wow, they just took that gnarly glue crap to the bottom of them to hold them closed instead of just actually, uh... Oh wow, that stuff is just so gnarly. Alright. First one coming out is gonna be the jalapeno hot sauce. Oh, eventually it's becoming... I hope so. I, I mean, I don't want to ruin the packaging. Oh, no. They, okay, then. Apparently, I got to cut them open. In case you're wondering, this is actually not Fuse. I actually cut a little piece of it off, if you can see right there. Right there. This piece right here I cut off, and I want to see if it was actually like real fuse. Like, you know, spark like a real fuse, right? No, it's just trash. It just burns and smells nasty as hell. Okay, there. Swift burn jalapeno hot sauce. So you can see jalapeno hot sauce, right? And let's see, the next one coming out of the package is going to be... Uh, let's see here. I'm probably going to speed up some of this for you so I can make my video short, but... Let's try some Swift Burn Hot Sauce, shall we? So this one is... Chipotle Pepper. Chipotle Pepper, as you can see. It's the red one. So that's your poly pepper right on it. Then the next one is going to be the garlic. I've never had garlic hot sauce before, so that's going to be interesting. And wow, look at that. When I said that my virtual background sort of distracts from actual colors. So, And then the one below that is going to be the red chili. Okay, I'm expecting this to be red, just like the, what is that, the Chipotle, I believe? Jalapeno is sort of greenish, so. But we'll find out here. Yep. Red chili hot sauce. And like I said, I'm doing this, I'm actually videotaping this on my phone. At the same time, I'm using my computer to videotape this, so I can give you a side-by-side -side comparison of what my background looks like compared to what I show you compared to what you see, and also, so you can see that I'm actually not cheating. <laughs> I'm actually trying to pull little bastards out. And, uh, wow, they just do not, this put these things in there too good, don't they? Okay. It is empty. See, it is empty. I might keep that. That's actually pretty cool looking. And then the last one is Smoky Bourbon Hot Sauce. Smoky Bourbon Hot Sauce. Well, I came prepared. I actually went to Beto's, a Mexican restaurant that I actually frequent, so I could actually give you a good taste test. Okay, now what we got here, 
Okay, I ate half of it yesterday. So this is actually leftovers from yesterday. So, but I cut the top of it off so it didn't look eaten. Didn't. Who wants to see half eaten burrito with an untaste test, right? So, let's try the first one. Jalapeno hot sauce. I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it that well. It says right down here, jalapeno hot sauce. So let's... Mm -hmm. They took that off. What did they do? Just put a crappy lid on here or what? I think they did. That's all right. I could take the crappy lid off. Whew. It don't smell like jalapenos, it smells sort of sour. So let's give it a try. So I got these for Christmas, and I, I figured I'd do a taste test for my viewers who want to see this swift fire hot sauce at kicking. I put a bit of it right there. Well, I don't really taste much, to tell you the truth. I don't even taste the jalapeno, to tell you the truth, I don't even taste the sauce. And so I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But, there's what the cap that goes on looks like. Okay, uh, peanut hot sauce is done. Uh, let's see here. Good old garlic, as you guys can see. I'll do the same thing with this one as I did all the other ones because it makes it easier to pull it out with your cork. It's not as bad sour smelling as the jalapeno one was with the garlic so let's find out oh that's a lot in case you want to see it's right here as you can see my phone is right there too so let's find out Mm. Not bad, actually. There's a little bit of heat to it. Not a whole lot. Next up is the Chipotle pepper hot sauce. Chipotle pepper. This, we have a Chipotle restaurant here. And some of their sauce is actually pretty hot, so maybe the hot sauce is equal to the restaurant. <laughs> this is my next out. Okay, I should get it off. Bitch, put that one on the good. The Chipotle, so we're gonna try it on. We're just gonna try it on, on a new bite. It's right here. You can see it on my phone better. I have better clarity on my phone than I guess on my computer, so who knows. Mm. Might have a bit more of a cake to it, so let's find out. Oh yeah. Yeah. <sighs>
Not often you get some good hot sauce that actually has a bit of sting to it. I can taste the burn sort of right in the back of my throat and on the sides of my tongue. This actually has some good heat to it. And this is the Chipotle pepper hot sauce. And no, I did not bring no water with me to drink because water would just make the heat worse. So I brought me some Star Fuzz coffee. No, they're not my sponsor either. I don't have no sponsors. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. The heat doesn't really last that long. Usually with me when I get like a really good hot pepper or something like that, the heat lasts for about nine minutes before it wears off. This one is, ooh, this one's going to be nice and hot. Red chili hot sauce. From the same collection of the Swift Burn hot sauce collection that I showed you earlier. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Now it's going to go on this side over here. I just want you guys to see. I know this is a bit more than a taste for how much I've actually put it on there. But I wanted to give a good, fair taste test of this hot sauce. So it has a slight salty flavor to it to start off with. There's some heat. I can feel the heat already. I don't know if my face turning red. <laughs> I've actually had some hot sauce that was like 5 million BTUs mm -hmm. of heat. And that's a lot of heat. And that then now. Our last hot sauce is the smoky bourbon hot sauce. Keep in mind, I have actually never had smoky bourbon hot sauce before, so this is going to be something new for me. But, ah, there we go. In fact, I haven't had any of these type of hot sauces before, so they're all new to me. But that last one still actually has a bit of heat coming to it. I can taste it. It's not as bad as the worst peppers I've ever eaten are, but it has nice and heat to it in case you guys want to try it. So let's try, this is the smoky bourbon hot sauce. So, smoky bourbon, huh? Oh, wow. And you can smell the smoke in this bad boy. Oh yeah, definitely you can smell the smoke inside there. So let's see if the taste actually matches the smell. So I'll put it on this side over here, so you guys can see. Oops, a bit too much, but oh well. Let's, let's see how good this tastes now. That's not that bad. It has a nice smoky flavor to it. You can taste it. There's no heat. I mean, there is no heat to that one. I'm still getting the heat res residue from the last one, which is the red chili one. But this one, you can actually taste the smoke in it, to tell you the truth. So, it's not bad, though. I'm actually sort of it's a nice little change up from usual hot sauces that actually have a lot of heat packed with them, but also distract from the flavors. That smoky bur bourbon one doesn't distract from the flavor of my burrito. Actually adds a slight smoky flavor to it, so actually it's pretty good. I actually like that one. But that is actually the end of my taste test for you all. So, if you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe and hit the like button. Well. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you want to get more interesting pictures of me doing, excuse me, uh, food challenges as well as other things, please let me know and by hitting that subscribe button.
Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening.